Hello everyone, so I'm super excited today because I'm going to do an Adriana Lima inspired makeup tutorial. I've been dying to do this. This isn't like me trying to like look like her saying we're twins because I've done like transforming myself into other celebrities before. I don't feel like I really look like her, but I really want to try and create her makeup style, especially from the Victoria's Secret days. First step is obviously blue contacts. I usually put in contacts at the very end of the video, but it usually turns out to be a bit of a nightmare because the makeup will run down my face because I cry from the contacts. So for this video, I'm going to have blue eye contacts in and I'm warning you, I don't think I look good with blue eye contacts, but hopefully when the makeup's done, I'll look better, but just a heads up, a little bit of a trigger one <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go attempt to put in these freaking contacts and then we'll be back for the start of the makeup and hopefully i can see and do my makeup and it will be great <laughs> okay guys i'm back <laughs> it's just a bit creepy anyways let's get into the fun part which is makeup so obviously with the blowout hair I have night curls by the way but i'm going for like that victoria's secret bouncy golden look so a few months ago i did a victoria's secret angel makeup look but this is like more of that smoky sexy goodness so let's get started first things first i'm gonna prime my skin it's so interesting every time i see a video of like models before a runway like getting ready you know there's like a hundred models like if they're doing like a proper runway i think how many freaking makeup artists and hair artists would you need on the day of the freaking runway if you're a runway model let me know because in my head i'm just like there's no way that there's like five makeup artists doing like a hundred models makeup like do you know how how long that would take me all right so my lips are nice and juicy i'm putting on some pink plumping gloss and it's gonna burn but <sighs> beauty is pain okay so next step is brows now i was looking at photos of miss adriana and her brows aren't all that dissimilar to mine well mine aren't that dissimilar to her she kind of has those thinner straight brows if anything hers are just a little bit more straight than mine but i think the front of her brow is a little bit more full so i'm just filling in anywhere where i have like sparse parts in my eyebrow okay so now that my brows are drawn on i'm going to just brush them into place usually i would brush them more up and out but hers are very like well kept and skinny <laughs> All right, I usually probably wouldn't do this, but I haven't plucked my eyebrows in a little bit. So I'm just going to carve out the underneath of my eyebrows just so they look more neat. I'm really worried, like without makeup and this hair and these contacts, I'm just giving uncanny belly. I'm also just going to put a bit of that concealer straight onto my lids and blend that out just so I have a base for my eyeshadow. I'm going to get started on the eyes and I'm very nervous for this first step. But I'm basically going to be tight lining my waterline and I feel like I'm going to look really, really scary. So for the most darkest pigment ever, I'm going to be using be painted create paint in the shade ink and i'm gonna be popping this on the back of my hand just as a little workstation and with this brush i'm gonna try and highlight my freaking eyes oh my god all right so i'm just doing this all the way around my eyes so on the top and on the inner corner outer corner everywhere right, so now that my whole entire waterline is coated in the painted i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye why is this like the most scariest thing ever this is the worst i've ever looked on camera i couldn't really find too many pictures of what adriana had on her lids but they appear to be like a brownie goldy shimmer so i'm just taking this hourglass pigment and i'm just packing that on my lid if you don't feel like it's pigmented enough spray your brush with some setting spray and you'll go back in and notice how much more pigmented your pigment will be i'm gonna do the same on the other eye of course i'm actually kind of doing the eyes a bit backwards because i did shimmer and now i'm doing shadow so i'm taking these lighter brown shades and i'm just gonna blend out the edges of the shimmer it doesn't appear that her eye makeup is too strong or heavy i feel like again she just has a shimmer and a light brown on her eyelids but she really goes ham with that waterline liner and i think she does a little bit of a wing and then maybe taking some of this like cooler tone brown I'm just popping that especially on the outer corner remember it's a lot easier to keep on adding darker shadows rather than put on a bunch of dark shadows and then not be able to lighten it so now it's my favorite part that i think is gonna 
bring the eyes all together add some liner now she has a little bit of an inner eye cat wing i'm just drawing that on on both eyes and then it doesn't appear that she has like an eyeliner wing so i'm just going to darken my outer lash line by drawing like a thin line on top of the outer half of my eye where my lashes are and like literally the most tiniest baby wing ever and because i put this liner on it's going to make my lashes look a lot more full so now i'm taking this stuff brown mixed with the black and this like little buffing brush and i'm going to smoke out that wing i just put on a little bit and look how much like smoking out the wing looks like so much more sultry and gorgeous oops this is where it's all gonna tie in the mascara so i'm just gonna cut my lashes make them really thick i'm gonna kind of drag them outwards as i do them and that's gonna give me that like cat eye effect mm -hmm. the difference <gasps> I just love mascara. Okay guys, I'm super excited because I feel like I'm starting to look a little bit less weird. Just a little bit, but this is gonna fix it all. I'm gonna give myself a really golden complexion because she is just always so like sun-kissed. And just blend that into my skin. And you guys, don't forget to <laughs> blend onto your neck because oh, it would be a disaster if I didn't. I'm not gonna lie. Like thinking back, I feel like the eyes were super easy. It took me like five, 10 minutes. All right, so now just so I have like literally no acne or anything showing, I'm gonna get some foundation and just pop that on top of anywhere that I feel needs a bit more coverage because obviously the last product we used was just like a glow product. Okay, now I'm just gonna put some concealer where I usually would just to highlight. I'm not gonna lie you guys, I don't know if it's just me living my life on TikTok, but I've seen so many signs that the 2014 vibe is coming back like the kind of music like that tumblr girl song is like going viral like i'm not gonna lie 2014 was a good year was it i think i just like the aesthetic of that year but i like the idea of like things not being as serious i don't know how to describe but i feel like back in the day no one was like so uber focused on being like perfect and everything was less calculated everything just seemed a lot more fun me saying this is if i didn't live in that year and i wasn't like 13 years old <sighs> it's different when you're in it compared to when you look back at it you know what i mean just reminiscing on the olden days okay so now i'm really gonna work on bronzing up my face adriana's contour and like highlights is all just like really seamless in every photo of her and then because her lips are always like kind of a pinky tone i'm gonna grab this pinky blush she doesn't really use much blush if anything so i'm really just gonna put a little bit of this on and just try and like blend it into the bronzer all right now for the fun part i'm going to bake my face i'm actually just getting a pink powder and i'm just patting that into my under eyes and then blending that out the trick is to just pat it into your skin and until it's like blended rather than like wiping it away because that's essentially getting rid of the product you just placed down and then for the rest of my face that's when i get a fluffy brush and i just kind of pat it in everywhere and again don't forget to set your nose with the powder okay so now everything that i did for the creams i'm going to do with powder so taking these warmer tone bronzers from the beauty girl farms bronzer palettes and i'm just going to warm up my entire face again just being very light without blending and then with my trusty dust the Scott Found blush palette. I'm gonna mix these four colors together and that will give me like a corally beautiful blush that doesn't stand out too much from my bronzer. Okay, so now it's time to contour my nasal cavity. So I've noticed her nose pinches in around here and it widens a little bit at the base. So I'm just trying to make my nose look a lot more thinner at the top. And then right about here, pull the contour outwards to just like accentuate the bottom half of my nose. And then also draw a line across the top. I feel like that's kind of similar. Maybe. Who knows? But now I'm going to set my face. All right, and whilst my face is setting, let's do my lips. I'm just wiping off the plumper. Now, I've noticed she doesn't really overline her lips all that much. Maybe in recent years, she does a lot more. So I'm just gonna kind of stick to the natural shape of my lips, but you know me, guys. I just love an overline. So I'm going in with the shade Pillow Talk 2 Medium. And this is a little bit darker than the original Pillow Talk shade. And now I'm going to put the normal Pillow Talk in the center of my lips, just a little more pinky. Okay, and I've tried to get the lip 
lip color kind of not too far away from my skin tone. I'm gonna add some to your lip glow and that's just gonna give that pinky gloss. All right, you guys, so one of the last steps is to smoke out the lower lash line just because she always has that smoky, smoldering look. So I'm starting off with these lighter browns and just blending them very close to my waterline and then slowly getting like a little bit lower and then you can take like darker colors and really get up in there and close to the waterline to really intensify it. Now I'm gonna do something which is so not me. I'm gonna get mascara on my lower lashes and now I'm just adding some highlight. Guys, I've done this routine like super random. I don't know why I'm doing my routine a little bit backwards today. And then with this really white and bright Ray Beauty highlighter, I'm gonna put that on my nose and on my inner corner here. I'm actually trying out some big lashes. They're just stuck to the outer corner. But I feel like they look good and a little bit more catty. So I'm gonna add them. Okay, instantly I feel like that's getting a bit more giving a little bit extra. Yeah, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is the finished look. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little makeup tutorial. <sighs> I don't know how I feel, it's just so weird with the contacts but you know what i had a lot of fun recreating this makeup look and i literally love recreating celebrities makeup so if you guys want to see me do anyone else make sure to let me know but i had literally so much fun so yeah make sure to like subscribe and follow me on instagram at leahholton underscore and i will see you very soon bye